Hey guys, welcome back to the 11th video in my Python programming series. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the slice operator, um, which is a cool thing that we can use on lists and strings in Python. So if you remember in the previous video, if we wanted to access an element in our list, we did fruit, so the name of our list here, which I've already got defined as apples, pear, and strawberry. Um, and then we would do the item. So for example, fruits1, and we can print that to the screen. Um, just to remind us what this did. And we got pair just like that because that is the second item, but to reference that we have to use one because in computers we start at zero, right? Um, okay, yeah, and I just want to mention, I didn't, don't think I did this in the list video, that you can actually do this on strings as well. So say I wanted to access the E there, I would just do text one and we get the E because that is the second uh, item in this string or character. Maybe I wanted to do the 11th one. Then that would give us another E because 11 is right here at the end of like. So yeah. Now what does the slice operator look like? So pretty much the slice operator is these two square brackets, but inside of them we are going to put two colons just like this. Now these colons, in between them we type some words. Uh, or we're going to put some numbers, but in this case I'm just going to show you with words. So we have start, stop, and step. Um, that's what goes where these colons are. Now if I remove this colon, that means I just have a start and a stop. And then if I remove this colon, I just have a start and that's how we reference what element we want to uh, we want to print out, right? If we had just put a number there. So we'll add the colon back in and this now we're going to use numbers. So the start, stop, and step works exactly the same way as the range function. So you may remember when I did a for loop, we did for x in range. And then inside of the range, we did some numbers like this. So we would start at 1, stop at 2, and step by 3 like that, right? So it works the exact same way, except in this case, we're going to be using um, it on lists and on strings, right? Without these numbers, so the range like this. Okay, so let's just do an example. Um, so let's start at 0, and let's end at this O. So the O is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, but if I want to actually include the O, I have to put 5 because remember 5 would be this space here. Um, and if we stop on, so let's say 4 here, you'll see what's going to happen. Um, it's not going to print out the O uh, because when we stop, we do not include that number, remember, from the range function. So if we want to have the O, we'll stop at 5. Just like that. Hello. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, now, if we wanted to start just from the beginning, say we didn't know, um, all we have to do is just put nothing there and it's going to default start from the beginning so it'll give us the same thing and then if we wanted to start from somewhere so say we want to start at two and we just want to go all the way to the end now we say we don't know how long our string is we don't want to count all of these things and say oh well let's stop at 17 or whatever number it may be by just leaving this blank it'll actually default to stop at the end of the string and you'll see that so we get LLO, I like Python, right? It stopped at the end of the string automatically. Okay, so now let's talk about the uh, the step feature. So if we want to start at the beginning and we want to stop at the end, we'll just put nothing in between these two colons because it's going to default from the beginning and default to the end. But now we want to skip every other letter. That means we're going to put a 2 here for the step. So that way we're going to get H, L, O, then we're going to skip the space here, we're going to get I, skip the space, get L, and so on, so I'll show you. And you see we get that, um, a bunch of gibberish like this. Maybe we want to go every third letter, that means we would step by three like this. And there we go, we get a few less letters, and same thing, we could do four or five, um, and continually going. Now say we want to start at the third letter, or the fourth, because we're typing three here, so L. Um, we want to stop at the end and we want to step by three, then you can see what's going to happen there. So we get L, I, I, T, N, right? So a bunch of gibberish. Okay, now this works again, same thing for fruits. I uh, just, I don't have as many items in the fruits list, so that's why I was showing you with text. But if I put the colon in here and we put another colon, uh, let's say we start at, let's start at one, so that means we're going to start at pair. And let's just go to the end, and we'll print that out. And again, we get pear and strawberries, so we didn't include the apples because we started at pear, right? 
So yeah, that's pretty much how the slice operator works. Now there is one other cool thing that we can do with the slice operator, um, and it's called the insert function or the insert kind of uh, thing with the slice operator. So if you remember, uh, we have when we wanted to add something to a list, we use dot append, right? So I showed you that in my list video. We did fruits.append, and then maybe we want to add blueberries like this. Uh, I know that's spelt incorrectly, but there we go. We'll fix that quickly. Blueberries. Okay, and then we can print out fruits once again just to see what it looks like. So if you remember, this just adds it to the end of the list. But say we don't want to add blueberries to the end of the list. We want to add it in between pears. We want to add it in between apples and pear. Um, we want to add it at the beginning. We want to add it somewhere else, right? How would we do that? Well, we can use the slice operator to do that. So instead of using the dot append, we'll use a slice operator. So we'll go like this. And this time, we're going to just put one colon and then type the indice where we want to insert it. So if we want to insert it at the beginning, we're just going to type 0 and then 0 like this. We do need to do them on both sides. And then an equal sign, and we'll set it equal to whatever we want. In this case, we'll just put B for simplicity. And you'll see we get B at the beginning of our list. Now say we want it in between apples and pear. Well, in that case, we would put 1 and we would put 1 again like this. And we get apples, comma b, comma pear, comma strawberries, just like that. Now, if we want to add it to the end, um, we would have to find out what number that is. So we do three, three. I believe that should work. We'll see. Yeah, so that ad adds it to the end for us. Um, and then, if we want to insert it in between pear and strawberry, we would do two, two, like that. And there we go, we get it in between there. So that's how the insert works for the slice operator. Um, I hope you learned how to use the slice operator today. We will be using it a little later in some other videos and doing some more complex things with it. Um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next one.